everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make no bake cheesecake. This recipe is delicious. It does not require a lot of ingredients, and you know, you make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. You all never had my no bake cheesecake. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're gonna need some cream cheese and you wanna make sure that your cream cheese is full fat. Right here we have two eight ounce cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese. You're gonna need some vanilla extract and you will need some salt. Over here you're gonna need three fourths of a cup of white sugar. You're gonna need a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. You're gonna need some fresh berries. Right here, we have some gorgeous raspberries and blackberries. Now this here, we'll talk about this later. This is cherry pie filling that is absolutely amazing. You will need a little bit more sugar and that's one third of a cup. You're going to need some graham crackers. Any kind of graham crackers that you wanted to use would be just fine. And the graham crackers are gonna be used for the crust. Now listen here, if you don't like graham crackers or you simply just don't have them, it's okay. You can use Oreos minus the filling. You know, you can use the vanilla Oreos, the chocolate Oreos, or any type of wafer cookie that you love. You possibly could use Gender Snaps. That would make for an awesome crust. Okay, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so really quick. I want to talk about what kind of pan are you to use if you are going to make a cheesecake. Well, there's a couple of different kinds that you can use, and there's two kinds that I'm going to show you today. This here is just a regular 9-inch pie pan, and it's just glass. It's 9 inches, okay? And this one here is the foil cake pan, okay? It's not a pie dish, but it's a cake pan, but it can be used for cheesecake. And then also there's another one that you can use that I don't have here, which would be a spring form pan. And what a spring form pan is, is two pieces. It's the bottom and then it's the outside. You all have seen it where you can like kind of open the side and the sides come up and the bottom comes off. Feel free to use that. Okay, so to, for today's video, we're gonna use this glass one here. And when I come back, I'm gonna share with you all how easy it is to make this graham cracker crust. Okay, so starting on our crust, you're gonna need some melted butter. And the amount of the melted butter is going to depend on how much graham crackers you decide to use. We're gonna use 11 graham crackers because I don't know about you all, but when I have cheesecake, I like a nice thick, crust. I don't want a, a really thin crust and I like to come up on the sides. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can just put crust at the bottom or you can put crust at the bottom and up the sides like I'm going to do. So now let's get back to the butter. We're going to use six tablespoons of this butter. This butter is room temperature but we need to melt it and the way that I'm going to melt it is simply just putting it in this bowl here and throwing it in the microwave just for about I don't know, 12 seconds or so to get it nice and melty. And then the next thing that we need to do is we are going to open up our graham crackers and take out 11. If you want a thinner crust, you don't have to use 11. Use eight or use six, okay? All right, so if you're gonna make two, you're gonna double the recipe for sure. Okay, so let's see how many is in this sleeve here. All right, there's nine. So let's get those right into our mixer here, just like so. And then I'm gonna grab a couple others. Here's 11, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna grind this up until 
we get the texture of breadcrumbs. We want it to be nice and fine. You don't want it to be big pieces because if it's big pieces, it's your, it, um, your crust is not gonna stick together, okay? So make it nice and fine. If you don't have one of these mixers, what you can do, this is a food processor. If you don't have one of these, you're gonna take your graham crackers, put them in a plastic bag, and bang the heck out of those bad boys until they get nice and fine. So right now, I'm just gonna add just a pinch of salt into the crust. Believe me when I tell you this, the salt in this crust really makes a difference. It's going to give a great flavor up against the sweetness. Okay, so we have that. And then I'm going to put one third of a cup of white sugar in with our dry graham crackers. They have cinnamon graham crackers as well. Feel free to use those. So here's how we're going to blend up our graham crackers or whatever cookies that you love. We're just gonna turn this on. I'm gonna make a little bit of noise until this gets nice and fine. Let's see what we have. Here's what it looks like, but guess what? There's some big pieces in there like that. That's what we don't want. So that means I need to go a little bit further. I'm gonna continue to mix this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so I have that perfect consistency with our graham crackers, our sugar, and our salt. Come take a peek in. Here's what it looks like. Look at this, guys. It looks, look, looks like sand. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so now we have our melted butter. Get that melted butter in there. If you are a true fan of butter, put your little extra in. Absolutely, it just really intensifies the flavor. Okay, so now once again, we're gonna turn this on. Just to get everything mixed up. And when I come back, we'll put these breadcrumbs into our pan. Okay, everyone, so I want you all to see what your crust should look, what's your crust? What's your crust, spit it out, Gina. What your crust should look like, that's hard to say, um, with the melted butter in, just like this, kind of like a wet sand. Okay, so now that we have the perfect texture, let's get all this goodness out. We're gonna put it right into the pan that we're going to use if you're using the aluminum pan you want to grab that if you're using your spring form pan grab that out you don't have to butter it or oil it now what we're going to do is you can take your fingers and the heat from your fingers is going to help mold your crust okay so i'm just going to press down to get that bottom part of the crust and i'm going to press up to get the sides, okay? This right here is pretty simple. Now, some of you might wanna bake it, but what's the use of calling this a no-bake cheesecake if you're gonna bake it? But if for those that wanna bake it, you can, just for about eight to 10 minutes on 350 degrees, but I'm not gonna bake mines. This will get set in the refrigerator while we're making the filling. I'm gonna continue to do this, and Jeannie Young will be back. Okay, everyone, so take a peek in at our crust. The crust is done, I'm done forming it. This is what it should look like. And if there's any cracks, just take your finger and smooth it out. This is gonna go into the refrigerator. But what we wanna do now is I have a stand-up mixer. Now this filling does not have to be mixed with the stand-up mixer. You can use the handheld mixer that has the two um, beaters with it, or you can just mix it by hand. Okay, so let's get our stand-up mixer open. And I wanna use two eight ounce packages of the cream cheese. But before we do that, oh, and guess what, everyone? There's another very, very, very important ingredient that we need to use first before we go any further. I'm gonna grab it out of the refrigerator and I'll be right back. So to get a nice velvety smooth texture that's going to hold your cheesecake together, you're going to need some heavy whipping cream. And I have one and a half cups 
of heavy whipping cream. I just poured it in here. It's nice and cold. Let's get it right into this mixer. And we want to mix this up until we form really nice soft peaks. Okay? What is soft peaks? Well, I'm going to show you when we get there. Okay? So now we're going to start off very, very low. If you turn it up on high, we're going to have heavy cream everywhere. Okay, so as soon as the soft peaks form, Tina Young will be right back. Okay, everyone, so I wanted to talk about the heavy cream that's went in. I've turned up the speed a little bit so that the heavy cream can get nice and thick. I'm going to give you all a fun fact. Um, a lot of people don't know that this is how you make uh, whipping cream. This is how you make Cool Whip. You bring heavy whipping cream up, you beat it and beat it until it turns and nice and frothy. Okay, so take a peek in. You can see where it's just starting to get nice and thick, okay? And very quickly we'll form the soft peaks. It'll kind of look like a duck beak at the end of your beater. Okay, that's gonna happen really quickly. I'm gonna turn the speed up here in just a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I want you all to see what the soft peak is going to look like. Okay, so when I lift this up, you should see somewhat of like a bird's beak. Let me show you. Just like this. Can you all see right there where I'm pointing? Right here, can you all see that? Hopefully you can see. All right, let me see if we can get a good picture in on it. Now you can see it. That's what it should look like if you want soft peaks. Okay, everyone, so now what I want to do is I want to get this gorgeous heavy cream that has been fluffed up to soft peaks. I just want to put it into a bowl and scrape out as much as you can. But I tell you one thing, you don't have to take the time to wash this out because right now we're getting ready to make our mixture in the same bowl, okay? just like so, and we're gonna set this heavy cream aside for the moment. So I'm gonna to put together my mixer and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, now I'm ready to put the two, and listen, make sure your uh, cream cheese is room temperature. I've had these, this cream cheese setting out on the counter for a couple of hours. I took it out this morning and it's afternoon time. And that's just fine. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, but you want it nice and room temperature so it can set up the way it should. So in we're going with two eight ounce packages of Philadelphia cream cheese. Full fat is really important. Three fourths of a cup of white sugar. Absolutely, and then once we get this nice and smooth, it's gonna be really, really smooth and gorgeous. Um, we will proceed to put in our vanilla and our lemon juice. I will be right back. Okay, everyone, so now that our cream cheese and our sugar is creamed together and the sugar is nice and silent, making that sugar nice and silent and um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I want the sugar to have no noise. That way you know it's fully incorporated. Now we're gonna take a pinch of salt, just a little bit. Get it right in there, okay? It really is gonna make a difference in this cheesecake. Let's turn that on for a second. Beautiful, and now I wanna put my lemon juice, just a little bit, and honestly, if you all are not fans of lemon juice, don't put any in there, it's okay. It will work out without it. We're gonna put some gorgeous vanilla in there. You don't need a lot. Okay, we're gonna mix this, and when I come back, we're going to incorporate the heavy cream. Okay, everyone, so I have incorporated the heavy cream that we've thickened up. We put it right into our bowl, and we're gonna mix this until this whole mixture gets combined and becomes sort of like a thick clump. As if you were to dip a spoon in and you can do like this and it's not gonna come off of the spoon. I'll show you how when I come back. Okay, everyone, so we've mixed everything up. Everything is well incorporated. Let me show you what I was speaking about. That's how thick you're gonna want for your filling to be. That way you know you're gonna have a successful um, cheesecake that is not gonna fall apart or just smash on you. Okay, so here's what we'll do next. When I come back, we're gonna take this beautiful filling, put it into our pie pan.
Okay, everyone, let's get this beautiful filling into the pie crust. And I forgot to refrigerate my pie crust, but guess what? It's okay. Don't, don't freak out. It's okay. But I highly suggest that when you're done making your pie crust, throw it in the refrigerator while you make this up. But this will set in the refrigerator so long, it's going to be okay. The crust will be just fine. Trust me when I tell you. Trust me. All right, look at this, beautiful. Some people just like to keep it, you know, kind of like this. I really want to smooth mine. I want mine's nice, gorgeous, and smooth. I'm going to continue to make this nice and smooth. Gina Young will be right back. Okay, everyone, take a look at this beautiful cheesecake. It's going in the refrigerator, uncovered, to set up. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you how you should top this and what it looks like after it's sliced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay everybody take a look at this gorgeous cheesecake no bake gina young style make you some if y'all enjoyed this here video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time gina young uploads one of these awesome recipes tell your family and friends and everybody you know tell the whole world about gina young and what i'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis let's say a really quick prayer and then you all get that first bite heavenly father lord jesus we thank you yet for another day lord we thank you for your love time your mercy and your understanding please forgive us for our sins come into our hearts we make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make the decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this family in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day, Lord. We thank you for that. Amen. When I come back, we're going to dive in. Okay, everybody, remember I told you all I was going to show you what we were going to do with this. This cherry pie filling is my favorite. And when Gina Young has cheesecake, I specifically, I like the cherry pie filling on top of my cheesecake. Now, my family, they like the fresh um, fruit on top of there. So that's why we decorate it with the fresh fruit. But this is going to be for my taste test. Let's go in. I can't wait any longer. Oh, Take a bite and let me know what you think about this. Gina Young style. Ooh! Go on in. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! <coughs> <coughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. I got so excited. I think my food went down the wrong pipe, but let's taste one more bite. Mm. This right here is one of the best no-bake cheesecakes. Make you some. And as always, God bless. Good night.